KD2ETP on the road again, um, MVIS experiment number four. Um, like I said in a couple previous videos, the last one, uh, being as though I was using a half square, which is uh, more or less a vertical array, uh, I guess you can't really consider that MVIS. Although I may have made an MVIS contact there, I guess I'd have to check the... Uh, my logbook and check the distances, but I would think for the most part they were multi-skip or multi-hot propagation going on there. So this time I'm going to have a couple antennas mounted low to the ground. I'm going to try 40 meters and 80 meters, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully um, it's a success. I'm getting a little rain here, it looks like. Um, just a real light mist, but I did bring a tarp this time, so... I can string that up between some trees uh, and get out of the weather so that I don't end up having to stop the um, uh, <laughs> like I did the last time. I wanted to make sure that I covered all my bases this time. So I know everything's charged and everything's working. And uh, hopefully this one will be a success. On the road here, there's a lake effect warning coming up on these signs here. But I don't believe it's supposed to start till later on this afternoon. So I think I'm safe, but uh, I'm safe anyways. It really doesn't matter. I'm prepared for snow. Not worried about snow. Uh, rain would be worse than snow, so... Uh, I mean, unless it really comes down, but, you know, I don't know. Again, like, I'm not concerned about snow. I've lived in uh, central New York my whole life, and I've had no issue, so. Stopped in Pulaski, New York, get some petrol. Back on the road. Oh, and some water and a couple snacks. Uh, just got off in Pulaski, New York. Stop to get some petrol and water and a little snack. Got to make sure you got something to keep going while you're up there. And back on the road. One mile to the exit. Uh, Pierpont Manor, Ellisburg exit, exit 40. Well, we're here. I could um, drive up the road here. Let me. Uh, I could drive up the road, but I'm just going to go up here and then I'm going to drop down in. Let me see if I can get over here and show you. I'm going to be down there in that flat area there by the creek. I'm going to start on um, 7.285. And then I am will go down five kilohertz increments from there. If I can't find it uh, free there, and then um, I don't know. And then I'll try eighty two, but I think I'll try forty first, and then I'll try eighty. So off to the trail. Oh, all right. Well, this is where I'm going to go down. It's a little steep. I think I can make it down. I see deer tracks here, so uh, they typically can find decent ways down, so I'm going to follow them. Hopefully, I don't slip and fall too much, but we shall see. Whew. It is steeper than it looks. So the key is to go tree to tree. So in case you do start going, you got something to grab onto. Not that I'd go anywhere very far. I mean, I just end up sliding down the hill a little bit, like being on a slide. But it's always best to follow the deer tracks. They tend to know the best spots down. The good part is the snow is helpful. Obviously, they can walk up and down a lot easier than me being on four legs, but 
wasn't too horrible. All right. I got one more small little down. That was the first one. Here's the second one. Uh, I think I'll go over there by those trees. It's something you know, right here. It looks all right, actually. Like I said, because the snow is um, packable, woo, makes it much easier to get a halfway decent footing. And oh, oh, run, 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 run. And we're here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go down to the creek here. I'll, well, I'll walk you right down to the creek. And then uh, I'll take a look around, see where I want to get set up. It's a beautiful spot down here. That's kind of where I like it. I think uh, why I like it, I should say. Cool little gouge in the side of that cliff. I actually think I'm going to be right on this flat here. It's pretty flat. Looks like I got some good places to put antennas and whatnot. Just need to find a good spot to sit on and set up. Let's take a walk down here so you can see the water. Deeper than it looks, that's for sure. Uh, but still, even there, it's probably only two feet deep. Okay. Hey, you hear me loud, blaring, calling, and you're blowing speakers up and uh, taking the picture on the TV, too. My uh, T5 faces are out, broadside. So I went out there and put her 21 wraps on a piece of pipe and put an ugly ballad right on the ladder line, right under the ladder line, and end of problem. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Tango Papa, QRP, QRP. QSL, QSL, uh, Kilo Delta 2, Echo, Tango, Papa. I'm running QRP. I'm, I'm running a uh, off-center fed dipole about four feet off the ground in a hole in the ground up here in central New York. QSL? Hello, QSL. Well, my name is Steve, Sierra Tango, Echo, Victor, Echo. I'm in central Connecticut, and you are solid. Head over here, sign. I'm only running a 2531 flight zone. QSL, QSL. Yeah, I'm doing a little uh, uh, NVIS experiment. I'm actually in a gorge. I'm roughly 100 feet down in the bottom of this gorge. I got an uh, off-center fed dipole. It's 100 and, or, uh, 69 feet long, and uh, I'm, I'm running it about four feet off the ground, uh, just doing a little um, experiment here uh, for a YouTube channel. Oh, beautiful. What are you running for power? Over. Uh, currently running 10 watts, 10 watts. Oh, beautiful on the 10 watts. I can probably hear you at uh, 5 or 1 watt. Uh, good signal. You're solid 10 over S9. And I'm on a uh, fan dipole 
at 105 feet flat top facing north. QSL, QSL, right now I just dropped down to 2 watts, 2 watts, 2 watts, can you hear me? Yeah, you're S8, S8, over. QSL, QSL, you're giving me a solid, I'd say, uh, S6 to S7 here. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me there. I do QRP myself, and when I hear a QRP station or a mobile station, I take a break and grab them. So that's uh, what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, good signal, good audio, and uh, unbelievable being that far down in a gorge with a, at 10 or 4 feet off the ground in a couple of watts. Uh, good signal. Excellent, excellent. Hey, I appreciate it. And uh, if you look up my call sign on YouTube, I'll be posting this video later on today. And I, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this QSO on there. I don't have a problem, but give me your, I got the pen and paper out. I'll get you in the logbook and get you up on, uh, and I'll put a note in there, QRP, and I'll uh, get you up on LOTW tomorrow I upload. Uh, give me your call, please. Uh, Kilo Delta 2 Echo Tango Papa. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Tango Papa. KD2, ETP, N1UIR. Uh, I'm giving you permission to put it up on YouTube. I don't mind at all. Thank you very much, sir. You have a wonderful day. I appreciate the contact and, and your uh, help with uh, my video here. I'll say 73 and I'll let you get back to your uh, conversation there. Oh, very good. What's the first person over? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, what's your first name? Over. Oh, uh, same as yours. Steve, Sierra, Tango, Echo, Victor, Echo. Oh, it's the same as mine. Sierra, Tango, Echo, Victor, Echo here too. Very good, Steve. Have a great day, and uh, I'll be looking forward to looking that up on YouTube later. QSL, QSL. I tried to do this uh, two other times, and I uh, had issues. One time I got rained on. One time my battery setup didn't work, and uh, so this is the third time I've been down in this hole trying to do this uh, little experiment here. Oh, well, no problem. You're doing the job. You're still solid S8, and I'm writing notes down to put into the uh, logbook, and put up, then you'll be up on LOTW under my call. Excellent, sir. Hey, have a great day. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Tango Papa, I will say 73. 73, Steve. Have a great day. Good test being down in that gorge with uh, two watts. And one you are. 73, guys, and thank you for the uh, other uh, uh, contacts there. I'll put you guys in the log as well. Uh, where, where, where are you guys, uh, the other uh, guys located? One guy is in Torrington, Connecticut. Torrington, Connecticut. And the uh, other challenge John. Uh, N2RMV is in Syracuse, New York. And where are you exactly? Over. Ironically enough, I'm from Syracuse, but I'm up at uh, Topman Gulf. I'm just south of Adams, New York, roughly 40 miles, uh, 45 miles north of Syracuse. Roger, I'm the 40 to 45 miles north of Syracuse. Gotcha. Get everything for the lot. Here. I'm get, I just brought my logbook up so I can get it in there now. You'll be on QRZ today, and you'll be on LOTW tomorrow. Thank you very much again, guys, and I appreciate the contacts. Uh, I'm, I always enjoy when people help me out here, and uh, I'm glad people take the time. Uh, not, not doing too bad for two watts. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Tango Papa, 73 all. <laughs> We lost Nicky Pusky. Yeah, I gotta go upstairs. I hear Kathy moving around. I think maybe it's uh, time for breakfast. <laughs> Let me turn the camera here. So I am uh, done for today's experiment and uh, we're going to, I'm going to get everything picked up, but um, another successful day down here and another successful outing. Um, having a little fun, made a couple more contacts and uh, I'm going to get picked up. I don't, didn't have a lot of time today, but uh, you know, you don't need a lot of time to have fun. 
it's good to get out and just play around, even if it is just for a couple of hours. The antenna's uh, working well. Not having any success, though, uh, getting, like that guy in Connecticut was probably the furthest um, I was able to reach. I was trying to get a couple people in Virginia, but um, I could hear him really well, but I wasn't getting any um, reports back, but I did get a couple more people around uh, New York, actually. So um, I'm going to have to say that this is a success. Um, next time I'll have to try on like, uh, uh, I'm going to have to try 80 meters again. I wasn't getting, uh, having good success with 80 meters. Um, but, uh, we'll play around with that again. Maybe, uh, if I get a, a better antenna, this antenna does not tune well on 80 meters, even with the tuner that's on the, uh, 6,100, which it actually tunes things pretty well. And I was able to tune it, but, um, not great. Uh, maybe I'll go with a resonant, more resonant antenna for 80 meters so that I'm getting more out to the antenna. But beautiful day. Um, the sun keeps breaking through the clouds here. And uh, I'm, uh, having, I've am i had a lot of fun. Um, I like doing this kind of stuff, and I'm going to continue to do more, more experiments with more antennas and different configurations. And um, I'll be posting, uh, posting them as we go. Um, like I said in the previous videos, uh, the next thing I want to do is start playing around with those po other portable antennas, not wire antennas, um, those different type of whip antennas and, uh, and whatnot. And let's see, uh, how they work, which ones work, uh, better than others. We'll do some comparisons, um, like I said before, and, um, and we'll do some solo, um, <coughs> excuse me, some solo, uh, antenna deployments. KD2 ETP, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I can't wait to do more of this kind of stuff. Um, I appreciate all you guys for watching uh, my videos and the support that I get for doing this kind of stuff. Uh, although, <laughs> albeit uh, all on my own dime, of course, but um, I, I'm doing it for myself as well, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. 73.